Cincinnati man is being charged with two counts of murder and one count of felonious assault and strangulation after a fight in OTR. That was right after an FC Cincinnati game. And this is all according to the Hamilton County prosecutor. Kendall Hyde joins us live with the very latest after a news conference earlier this afternoon. Kendall. Yeah, that's right, ladies. That 24-year-old man is saying that this was all part of self-defense. But the prosecutor is saying, how do you choke a man until he's unconscious? Now, I want to warn you that some of the video you're going to see in this story is a bit graphic. On October 4, 2023, Jason McCannon and his wife were walking from an FC soccer match. That's when he noticed a DoorDash driver getting ready to turn down the wrong way of a one-way street. According to court documents, McCannon and the DoorDash driver then exchanged a few words. That's when 24-year-old Levantez Davis got out of the car and approached McCannon. The driver's boyfriend ran up to the victim and attacked him. He punched him in the face and then took him to the ground in a chokehold. After a short fight, McKenna was able to escape, but Davis choked him again a second time. He was then placed in a chokehold and ultimately was taken to the ground. There are witnesses that can be heard pleading with the defendant to stop. The 48-year-old was choked until he was unconscious. He was rushed to UC Medical Center, where he later died four days after. Then, 10 days after his death, police arrested Davis. And Power says, while this is unfortunate, this is not Davis's first run-in with the police. He's been arrested for aggravated robbery, several assault charges, and menacing. But all those charges were later dropped. And Power says McKenna could still be alive today if Davis were arrested or appropriately treated for his past crimes. Where should we be focusing on? Childhood trauma that have affected people that have made them into the character or the persons that they are. And I also think it's very important for our community to hold people that break the law accountable and that they are punished for their offenses. Now, if Davis is found guilty, he will be facing life in prison. And if he won't get parole until he serves 15 of those years, we'll continue to keep you up to date as we learn more. For now, live downtown, Kendall Hyde, Fox 19 Now.